welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Gillian and before I even get into the video, I apologize for my voice. Um, it's been a long evening, <laughs> but I had to record this for you guys. This video has been long coming and I'm not even going to sit here and say, oh, I'm finally back on YouTube because y'all know how that goes. I'll post a video when I can and I'm going to try, okay, please. But if you guys can keep me accountable too, that'll be great. Um, but I'm going to try to put out a video as often as I can. But um, thanks so much for coming back. If you're an old subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, hi, hello, welcome. Um, and I hope you subscribe and stick around because um, I am a wig stylist. I'm Gillian, I'm a wig stylist. Um, I like to do videos around hair. Um, I make wigs, um, color them, style them. So whatever kind of wig you want, I got you. But in today's video, we are revamping an old wig for one of my sisters, one of my clients. Um, my sis wig, you're gonna see it from the video, but the wig had gone through thick, thin, and everything in between, okay? That wig went through a lot, but um, I'm going to show you guys the process of how I revamped the wig. It's not how I would revamp every wig, but because this one I had to change the closure, do some coloring um, and styling to the wig. Um, that's why I wanted to do this video so y'all can see how I go through the process of a not so traditional revamp that I do. But um, without further ado, we're gonna go into it um, and the wig I revamped is not this one on my head, just so we're clear. This is a different wig. This is a custom wig I made. Um, I love the highlights I put in the hair. Um, and as you can see, it's completely glueless. It's a closure wig. It's a four by four closure wig. And whoever said you can't do side parts with closure wigs, lied to you, okay? Cause as you can clearly see, I'm rocking this closure wig for the side part. And I have worn this wig in the middle part before. And I've done just so much with this wig before, okay? So definitely know if you're not a frontal person but you still want glueless wigs, you can still achieve a ton of styles with closure wigs, okay? Um, again, let me stop talking and let's just get right into the tea, okay? I'll talk to y'all later. So this closure has holes in multiple places and there's no way we can do a part on this wig with this closure. So I took it out and now I'm going to sew on a new closure. All I did was cut out the closure on the sides and then just put the new one um, and started hand sewing it. I would have loved to do this on a sewing machine, but this wig was handmade, so I kind of had to hand sew it so I make sure it's laying flat. As you can see, I'm just using my thread and needle and I'm doing a blanket stitch and I'm just going to do this same stitch all around the closure. You want to do this by hand. I recommend doing this by hand just because you want the closure to lay flat. That's the secret to having a glueless wig too. If you guys don't know, your closure needs to lay very, very flat. Um, I'm using T-pins to secure it while I sew and this is so, so helpful. So just watch me sew this closure down. Once I got done, I used my dark brown hair color. I got this hair color from the beauty supply store and needed just a little bit. So I mixed it up so it blends properly. It looks white, but trust me y'all, it's dark brown and you see it at the end. Um, so all I do is mix this and then I'm going to be going in sections and applying this on to the hair. So I'm going in sections because I want to make sure I don't bleach the roots or the knots so I don't have to you know go in and bleach the knots because the hair is already kind of blonde like so I don't want to have to bleach the knots so all I do is go in small sections use my brush apply the product and then use a small comb and spread it so that way I'm spreading it really nicely and evenly but I'm not touching the roots use a comb you guys if you want to get this really really good without touching the lace, use the comb. This is what I would do when I'm trying to like darken the roots of like 613 here too. This is a great technique to use. So just watch me do this and I'll come back when I'm done and I'm about to style it. Thank you. 
Using my Sleep Me Down wax stick, all I do is put a little bit using my hot comb, push the hair back, and then I'm gonna create a part. Styling curly hair is so easy, y'all. All I do is pretty much work in the frontal part, and then for the rest of the hair, I'm just going to spray water to define the curls. But as you can see, I'm trying to make my part really, really defined. Um, I'm using a small comb, go in, make sure that part is nice and straight and again use some of my wax stick and hot comb that's all i use to style this week you guys literally wax stick hot comb and water you can get the wax stick from my website and i linked it down below so check in the description box and you see the link to get the wax stick y'all another tip that i like to show you guys in this video is how to correct knots that were over bleached. In this case, my knots are not over bleached, but I probably missed some parts when I was darkening the roots, and here's how I fix it. I'm using this root touch up gel um, that I got from Amazon. All I do is put a little bit, and I'm using this small edge control brush to spread it because I don't want to put it too much and let it sit through the hair. This is permanent, so be rest assured once it dries, it's all good, you don't have to worry about it. So if you ever have over bleached knots, get this. I'm gonna link it down in the description box below. Get it and it's so easy to use. As you can literally see, my part looks a lot more defined because I was able to use that to darken up the hair and make it look so, so good. So that's how I style my curly wigs. And then I went ahead and put some water on it to define the curls and this is how it looks. Hope you loved the video and stay tuned until the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.